this is Dolan TV, guys a big welcome back to the channel today some Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode yes the hair's still going on I'm loving it still to this day let me tell you the Blue Jays in a peculiar situation yes that's the way I'm gonna sum it up right now let's go over here 63 and 51 the Toronto Blue Jays they're doing good Meh, kinda sorta and uh, here's the issue. The Red Sox are 62 and 51 a half game back. And 63 wins gets you the second wild card spot in the AL. That's not good. That's not good, boys. We got to do something about that. And Josh Donaldson, Kevin Plar not really getting it done. So what I'm going to propose here is we're going to get uh, Justin Smoke up there. We're going to get Kevin Pillar down there and uh, get Justin Moore into that two hole. Because you see Devin Travis doing not too bad. Justin Moore cranking him. So is jo Josh Donaldson. And Justin Smoke has all the tools to crank him in this franchise mode now that we boosted him. So that's all he needs to do. Russell Martin, back to being himself, right? He's back to an 80, 81, but up to an 85, so he's doing decent. We need him up there and... Draw Dyson doing his thing in that number nine hole. Leonard Gonzalez, he's hot. Well, he's had 42 at bats, so he better be hot, right? And then you've got uh, Corey Swenson, 222. So the bench has not been productive other than Leonard Gonzalez in his 42 at bats, right? Against lefties, what I want is John Jay. Obviously, that's why he's hitting so well. Justin Smoke, I'm going to switch him with Tulo because Tulo may be doing well, and we're going to get him behind. Because we, we gave Justin Smoke a little bit better contact versus left, but a little bit po better power as well. So that's what we're hoping for there. We're going to see if these lineup changes mix things up at all for us. Our rotation doing just fine. Joe Biagini, well, if his stamina was any better, I'd be getting him into the starting rotation in place of J.A. Happ at this point. Johnny Thayer, well, his stamina is no better. Nobody has better stamina, so... Joe be a genius spot start specialist, and that's about the only way I can put it. So we got to go through to this Houston Astros thing, and we're going to hope to get down to Tampa Bay, the final game against Tampa Bay, where next time round we'll decide on the call-ups. Bottom of the ninth, you've got a 1-1 one -one lead. Protect it with Roberto Osuna against who? Against who? Mike Trout, that's who. The Blue Jays have defeated the Angels. And now all of a sudden we've got a one run lead against CJ Crone. The Blue Jays have defeated the Angels 5-4. All right, we're taking two wins. Bottom of the eighth, they're trying to rally Mike Trout at the dish, simulate to end of game, and the Blue Jays have defeated the Angels 3-1. Ooh, look at that, mini three game winning streak. Mike Trout at the dish, simulate, and the Angels win it on what looks to be a home run. So John Jay, Injured for a day or two, the Angels have defeated the Blue Jays 0-0. I don't know how that makes sense. John Jay has been in, er, has been brought back. So let's see what that auto utilization did for us. That gets John Jay back in where he needs to be. Okay, okay, I like it. Trey Dent struggling, but he does have four home runs and 25 RBIs, so he's had not a bad time. Leonard Gonzalez down to a 276. It's respectable. I mean, 16 hits in your rookie campaign. I'll take it. Corey Swenson, I mean, Trey Dent, I don't know if he's in the running for Rookie of the Year. Hey, let's go take a look, shall we? Shall we take a look to see where Trey Dent is in Rookie of the Year? Not even close. So disregard anything I'm saying about Trey Dent being the Rookie of the Year. But you see Russell Martin doing not too bad. Justin Bohr, 16 homers, 64 RBIs. Devin Travis, Josh Donaldson, Justin Smoke, just struggling up there down to an 81 so we're going to move him back down and we're going to get Justin or Russell Martin into that hole right there actually no Martin's contact versus right is ter terrible John Jay John Jay in the four hole no uh Troy Tulitsky that's the only option there and we got to get uh Justin Smoke into a five hole we got to find where Justin Smoke is going to be successful that's the key here is where is Justin Smoke going to be most successful for the Toronto Blue Jays so here we are bottom half of the 10th inning tied 6-6 the Blue Jays win this one as well, then win and sweep the uh, Oakland Athletics and then lose the first game to Houston. So we're 69 and 53. That gets us a half game back of the Boston Red Sox. You got that? Half game back. What is going on there? That's an odd one because 
We have been on a tear. We've lost two games in our last, what, one, two, three, four, all that. That is ridiculous that we have ended up with that kind of a record after that. And there's a win, there's a win. And Christopher Watts no longer injured. And the Fisher Cats have 26 players on their active roster. Okay, let's see what I can do about that, boys. The GM's got to go in there and wreck some stuff up. Let's go to double A here. Tom Hayes. Mm, what do we got in double A? We've got 2253. So we have one too many shortstops in double A. So we'll move Tom Hayes to class A and see what he can do for them up there in class A Dunedin. Okay, so there's another victory against the LA Angels. Fisher Cats need to auto fix their lineup. We're up 4-3, simulate to the end, we get another save from Roberto Osuna. Marco Estrada up 8-0, has a shutout going late, of course he's going to keep it going. And then Kevin Plar with John Jay at the dish at third base. This is where we got to come on and shut down Zach Britton, tie the game, get it done. The Blue Jays team ranking in assists, we've been a very good fielding team this year. Shortstop, second base, and third base, all with massive assists. Josh Donaldson, not really that big. He's going to hit 200, but not that well. And I mean, we're close. We're back by 29. We've got a guy who's got 357 in too low. So we've got guys who can get it done. We're going to see what Britain favors here. He's probably going to go with slink, sinker or slider. I was going to say both of them, slinker. And this is going to be driven up the middle. John Jay going across. And John Jay is going to be out by a step to end the game. I thought for sure just the way that ball was rolling up the middle, we had it. That was too quick. Draw dice and a home run and RBI. Kevin Plower, a triple. Three RBIs or two RBIs. Josh Tomlinson, Justin Borg getting it done as well. Losing pitcher was indeed Josh Tomlin who gave up four earned runs. Jimmy Nelson gets a victory and Zach Britton gets a save. So... Got a little bit too excited to swing at that slider outside of the zone. What am, I, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, right? That was a that was that was a tough position to be in, I gotta say. So Zach Britton gets it done. Hey, what do you say? Alright, anyway. Let's go get into hopefully another game here before this Tampa Bay series and Baltimore. Okay, Tulo. Tulo. Um Tulo, can we get it done? You know what, let's get it done. Let's see how we do. Ranking and assists, all of a sudden we've fallen back quite a bit. Zach Britton versus Troy Tulowitzki. Zach Britton's out of 4.33 ERA. Devin Travis all of a sudden hitting uh, hits again. Kevin Pillar hitting hits again. 4.86 average over the last 10 games. Draw Dyson, 3.95. Justin Smoke. We need, I don't know why I even bothered getting them fixed up. That was just a bad idea. Should have like boosted Trey Dent, honestly. Okay, Tulo, you got to be patient here. You got to get it done, and you got to hit a homer. Oh man, did Tulo just crank? It looked promising. It looked really promising, guys. That one, uh, I thought that was gone for sure. So this is Justin Smoke. Justin Smoke, a chance to do it against the lefty Britain right here. This would be such a prime spot for Justin Smoke to come up big and get something done. This is going to be a fly ball to right field, back deep, and caught easily by the right fielder. Strikeout looking, walk single. Uh, Justin Smoke kind of struggling. So it comes down to Russell Martin. We're just drilling him off the end of the bat here. So now it comes to Russell Martin. He's got to be coming up high. We're swinging all the way here. Need a big hit. And that was the slider up high. I thought that it was a fastball. Then all of a sudden it moved. And all of a sudden, Zach Britton has 4Ks against Mr. Russell Martin. You got to think right here that it's going to be a base hit. You got to think. And it's going to be flown out into right field. Same thing off the end of the bat. And it is the end of the game. Russell Martin can't come up clutch. Ay, Scooter, Gen Scooter Jeanette gets it done. And I mean, Hector Rondon blows the save in the seventh inning, or eighth inning, pardon me, gets the loss. Nate Jones gets the win for Baltimore. Zach Britton gets back-to-back -back saves and couldn't capitalize. You know what? We had a chance there with Tulo or with, yeah, was it Tulo? Then it was Smoke and then it was everyone else. And 
Could not get it done. Smokey having a hard time against everyone, it seems. Against Oakland, there we go. We get a big victory. Mike Miner versus Josh Donaldson, and the Athletics win that one. Marcus Semien, the Blue Jays. Marco Estrada gets another victory going, and here we go. Kevin Plar, 16 game hitting streak, simulate to the end, and we win 10 to 1. So we're winning in convincing fashion all of a sudden. Our last four games, we've put up 6, 13, 23 runs over four games. That's five games, like, like 5.6 runs per game. I will take it all the way. And so, okay, we're doing okay. We're getting there. We're getting there, and I think we're rocking it. Devin Travis, 303 average. Justin Moore, 17 homers, 70 RBIs. You see Devin Travis, 19 homers, 58 RBIs. Josh Donaldson, 38, 30, 38 and 95. He's going to hit 45 before the season's done. Tulo, 17 and 74. That's the most RBIs Tulo has had since 2016 in fewer games than last year's campaign. And he is going to... He's going to be fine. He's going to absolutely rock it. You see, he's had the most hits in, well, since 2011. You know that? Yeah, he's had the most hits since 2011 in his career. And he has a good chance of finishing the year with a career high in hits. That could be absolutely clutch. Justin Smoke not doing much of anything. I think, you know what? Here it is. I'm going to get Justin Smoke back on the bench because Trey Dent deserves some playing time. Justin Smoke just not getting it done for us. Russell Martin, 1552, 11.73 for Kevin Pillar. You're hitting like him. You're getting the, your all-time lead in RBIs and home runs, possibly the most hits, well, since 2015, and he's going to surprise us that. John Jay, John Jay having a heck of a year. He switched teams last year, had a good year, but uh, I think he's got a good chance this year as well. And then Gerard Dyson, 273, five homers. Could have a career high in hits, honestly, he could, because he only needs 11 more throughout September and we're there. So Gerard Dyson goes three, 333 the rest of the way and he gets it done. See, he's had a pretty high number of home runs too. Obviously that's a simulation giving it to him, but whatever. And he's gonna have a career year in RBIs. So that's the big thing. You know what, we brought him here to steal bases, but he's gonna have a career year in RBIs and I will take that as a plus. Trey Dent going to fill in on our five hole to start September. Guys, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Dolany TV. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like. I will catch you guys in the next one.